here is the dining room table. This is the top. You can see how marked up it is. You can see here, it's all marked up and here and here and here. So they wanted to refinish it. At first they had asked me just to take the top and refinish the top exactly like this, but then they changed their mind. So this is the top. There's two leaves for the middle here. Let me show you them. As you can see, each leaf is rather large, probably about two feet wide. Here's the other one in the bag. So that's more stripping to do. And we also have the pedestal. Please don't mind the mess. This is a messy shop. There's one of the pedestals upside down. Here's the other pedestal. So this is going to be a lot of stripping in here around these curves and edges. This is, uh, this is gonna be a fun one. Now back to where I'm starting. I got this to try to help me to go about this a little faster for that pedestal. I have a feeling I'll be using this guy a lot and maybe this one too to get around the, the lips. So we'll see. Um, hopefully this really helps me to get the job done quicker on that pedestal. And I got some new scrapers. I actually, I know this is for a paint roller, but I happen to like this edge and this edge for scraping furniture. It happened to help me a lot on the previous piece that I used. So I got a brand new one of these. I got another scraper, brand new. And then I got this guy. It's got four edges. There's four separate edges. You take this off and flip it. Um, rough and fine scraping, both covered with this. Hopefully this helps me to actually get the leverage that I'm gonna need. And now I have the quick strip varnish stripper that I used on the, um, the French provincial dressers if you were watching my previous video. So I'm going to first give that a shot on this varnish. And then I also have this premium stripper. So kind of just going to see which one works better on this specific varnish. I have two separate brushes, one for each. And then very important, proper PPE, because I am going to be using harsh chemicals with this. These are very harsh chemicals. Let's get started. I forgot to include the fact that you should definitely be wearing gloves when using stripper. It is a very harsh chemical and it does irritate the skin. Uh, you should also probably wear safety glasses or goggles of some sort because if this sprays into your eye, it splashes as you're spreading it onto the surface, it can cause a lot of issues with your, with your vision and your eye. So you want full PPE when using stripper. I'm waiting for that to work. Um, I want to explain that this piece, like most furniture today, has veneer on the top. And that means when stripping this, you cannot sand it. When you get down to the, to the, to the bare wood, you cannot sand it too hard because you will sand right through the veneer very quickly. So it's very important that I strip this and then I carefully sand it when I'm done stripping it, maybe with just one pass by hand with some 220. All right, I put this on about almost 10 minutes ago. You can see that it's starting to work. Another five minutes and I will start to give it a good scrape. I put this on the rough scrape side. So I'm gonna start with a rough scraping because I wanna get as much as I can off in that first, in that first try. And here you can see me very determined to make this scraper work, but I did not like it at all. It was very sharp, so it grabbed everything in one spot, but it, 
it wasn't smooth enough or wide enough to get everything. So it was leaving veneer and stain in between the scrapes. So I was not a fan. I do not recommend it. I recommend the scraper that's in my hand right here. The wide one that looks like a spatula. That worked the best. You'll see in the upcoming clips that that is definitely the go-to. Here you can see me stripping the pedestals. Stripping these pedestals was definitely a challenge with all of the different rings around the pedestal and the edges and the markings. It was definitely not a simple task and it took a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of patience. Here you can see me going at the rings on the bottom of it. This was definitely the most challenging part and it took me the longest out of everything with this table and the pedestals. All right, so I just mixed up my paint. I mean, I'm actually using a measuring cup because I want a perfect 50-50 mix. So in this measuring cup, I have half a cup of water, half a cup of paint. I'm using Dixie Belle's chalk mineral paint in fluff. And that combined with the water gives me a nice stain. because they're going to be whitewashed. Got a rag to wipe it back with after I do my two coats. And now let's get to work. Here is this piece, it's now, it's now whitewashed completely. Um, the next step with this, once it's dry, I will take thousand grit sandpaper and I'll kind of smooth it up a little bit and then I will clean it and then I can do the clear coat on it. But that's not gonna be for a while because I still have another pedestal to do in the whole top of the table. So I'm very happy with how this came out. You can still see the wood grain. I think it's light enough, um, but not too light and you know, you, it's, you can't go too thick with this because the whole idea is to see the wood grain. So I think I got a good mix of paint and water going on. So I'm going to continue on the next pedestal. Actually, I have to do the bottom of this. So I've now flipped it over so I can do the bottom of the legs. And I'm also gonna do this bottom piece right here, just in case someone peeks their head under the table, they're going to see this. If you're enjoying this video so far and you find this information useful, please be so kind as to hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel. I have now sanded all this down and it's ready for the whitewash. I first sanded this with some 150 to make sure I got everything off when I was stripping it. Then I sanded it with some 220 to make it a little smoother. And then I brought it up to 320 to make it very smooth. And now we have the feeling that we want. And now it's ready for the whitewash. So let's get to it. If you notice, I applied the whitewash in the direction of the grain. The grain on this table goes this way and this way. It doesn't go horizontal or vertical, it's on an angle, and the angles meet each other in the middle. So we don't want to leave the whitewash on for too long, otherwise you get some darker white spots and we don't want that. So I did a small section and now I am wiping it off. Now I also have to be careful where these two 
different wood grains meet because I'm gonna end up overlapping and that's gonna create a dark line down the center. So I want to pay special attention to this center part and make sure that I pull back on it a little more than I pull back on everything else. There's gonna be a lot of blending work going on with the center of this. Now this is only the first coat, so it's very light. Now I'm gonna move on. If you splatter where it's already been, make sure you immediately Wipe it so it's not a dot, because that dot will show up. That's what I did there, and it's the first thing I just wiped off. Now I'm going to continue. You'll also notice when I'm applying it, after I've applied it to this area, I take it and I do full swipes because you don't want to stop midway and then pick it up because you end up with a brush mark. And that shows up in the end. Again, I'm going to focus on that center line. Make sure to wipe off of as much of it as I possibly can. Make sure everything looks nice and even, which it does. Here I have a little overlap from the first section and the second section, so I'm gonna try to get more of that off, which I just did. I succeeded. And then you want to make sure along the edges you pull back and make it smooth, otherwise, you end up with a thicker line around the edges. So now I think we're looking good, and I can start the next section. Now all four pieces are whitewashed and they're ready for clear coat. I just finished making sure there's no dust or anything on them and I just went over them again to make sure that I'm happy with the way they look. And now I'm going to clear coat them in this wax finish varnish by Polyvine. This is dead flat finish because the client does not want any shine whatsoever. And I'm using Polyvine three inch varnish brush meant specifically for this varnish. So let's get painting. Here's the final product. Here are the pedestals. Next is the tabletop. This is when it's assembled in the client's home. And then the next photos, you're gonna see it with the two leaves in it. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to hit the like and the subscribe button if you like what you've seen so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you.